Hello friends, welcome back to Sack's Garage. I am Sack and we are not in my garage. This is a rather unfortunate episode uh, that we are doing on uh, my phone because this happened. So I was taking the boat to go get windrise because it's an inboard outboard and it freezes here and there's no longer a wheel there. Uh, I was over at getting ready to make a left at that busy intersection over there and the line was so long that I actually had to wait two light cycles so going from the first light cycle to the second I was creeping forward and in the back or in the rearview mirror I could see the boat bouncing up and down so I looked in my mirror and the wheel was almost out of the fender well I'm like okay that's great so I pull over to the side and as I'm pulling across the highway the wheel just falls off I'm not sure what happened here, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if it just got rusted and failed or what, but there's obviously a major failure here. Uh, I suspect that because the boat is about 15 years old at this point, uh, this part got old and rusty enough to where it failed. So, uh, yeah, that's how my day's going. We're waiting on the tow truck. Uh, and when we get home, we'll assess the true damage. Uh, but I know that we're definitely going to need a new hub thing here and definitely a new U-joint uh, because, or U-bolt, sorry, my camera work sucks because that is basically ground down now. Uh, and then you can see <laughs> all the way back, that goes all the way back around the Walgreens to the intersection for me dragging it. So. Uh, it's rush hour time, so I didn't want to sit on the highway waiting for the tow truck, but something bad obviously happened right here. It feels like this seal is not very good anymore, and this grease is honestly pretty old. Um, in the two years I've owned the boat, I haven't repacked the bearings or anything like that, so you can see there's a bunch of crud in there, so it looks like the, uh, the seal failed. So we'll get home, we'll jack it up, we'll assess the damage. It looks like we'll probably have to replace this plate. It looks like the spring is good even though it's old and rusty, uh, and then figure out what to do here. So we'll uh, get to it. What you're seeing here is getting the boat up onto the truck. The approach angle of the transom doesn't work, so the back is going to about to hit the ground. I'm trying to get it as close and to the truck stop. as possible so we can get the wood box under it lifted up. My fiance was nice enough to bring me my floor jack, or one of them, to help lift up the rear end to try to keep the transom off the ground until we were able to get to the wood blocks to get it on the truck. This is a picture of it once we got loaded up onto the truck. That's our nice tow truck driver just strapping it down and there's a final picture of it uh, sitting on the trailer at home. There's the transom dug into the grass after we unloaded it. And finally a picture of the wheel uh, back on the hub and that's what the normal picture should look like on the opposite side. All right, we're out here working on getting this axle replaced. Uh, this is the side that obviously broke. And uh, I chose to replace the axle because this is all sorts of gouged up here on the, uh, the end of the axle. And I didn't want to risk having more issues. The biggest part was this right here. Uh, it looks like it actually like welded part of the bearing onto the, the axle there. And underneath here from where it had to drag to get into the parking lot. This U-bolt completely ground down and actually took off some of the, the plate here. And then you can see in the back here, those nuts took a good hit. They're about halfway ground off. So we're gonna use our handy dandy Sawzall and uh, cut this last U-bolt off. I already got the other side undone. That came off easy because it's still in working condition and we'll get this replaced. Here's our shiny new axle. I'll put the link in the description below from the parts store that I uh, but all this from all said and done, a brand new axle, new U-bolts, two new hubs, and all the associated hardware was about 500 bucks. That is an easy loader axle. That was way more expensive to buy. I would have been more at like 800 to 1,000 dollars for all the parts. This is a Dexter axle, very reputable trailer axle company. Uh, and like I said, about 500 bucks for everything. I do appreciate that they protect the end with uh, these little soccer cones that are zip tied on, very creative solution to protect an important part out there. So we're gonna go ahead and unpack this, get started. 
Super nice of Dexter. They pre-greased the axle a little bit. I'm still gonna go back through and uh, pump this full marine grease once it's done to make sure that it has a sufficient amount. But it does come slightly pre-greased to at least get the hub on. And then instead of a cotter pin, they have this like reverse castle thing on here it has a nub that goes against the, the D part here and uh, keeps that uh, hub nut from rotating around. So a little bit different design than I'm used to, but overall this is super easy. Just got to finish unwrapping this and we'll get that hub on. All right, guys, super easy to get these on. It only takes about five minutes, if that. Uh, hardest part is just getting the little bit of preload on the, the hub nut and then getting that kind of castle nut looking cover to line up over it. After that, just bang on this dust cap. It has a nice rubber access port so you don't have to keep removing this and getting it banged up uh, to try to maximize your seal potential. But overall, super happy uh, with how this is turning out. Just gotta jack it up, get the wheels back on, get the old hub out of that wheel right there. Uh, if I were to do this again, I would probably just fork over, I think it was like 75 bucks per leaf spring to get the new leaf springs again, but we'll keep using these uh, for now because it'd be super easy to just uh, undo the the U-bolts and get those leafs replaced at a future date. So thanks for watching this episode of Saks Garage. We'll see you next time.